Alright everybody, today we're going to try to figure out why the exhaust wouldn't go on, um, but I did actually manage to figure it out. If you can see that little bump right there, that's actually the front plate of my rider's bracket. And uh, somehow i got to figure out to what I'm going to do. That's pretty bad. And also I'm going to start up the lawnmower really quick with me. Um, grab my keys and I'll be back out here. Alright, I'm back. So, my parking brake doesn't still doesn't work and I have to put my foot down on this pedal. Um, because, well, whoever fixed this um, brake lever, they didn't replace the bracket. They just welded an old piece back on there. Uh, here goes where... I said it still runs. Well, it's running a lot better now. So I'm going to angle you. And listen, there's actually no noise actually coming from the head. she ran good and I have this is my homemade throttle right here um, this is for temporary for right now um, it works I don't have it running through this hole no more I have a zip tie and a hose clamp holding that on there well the hose clamp worked great for the holding it on there but you can hear notice the engine was getting really loud well when I blew that valve keeper or the valve, the, the valve stem. Um, well, when I done that, it cracked a hole right through the exhaust. Um, probably had there was a weak point in the exhaust or something. So I got to replace the exhaust just to. So I, that's what the other video yesterday figuring out what happened to my rider and then fixing the problem. Um, you can listen, you can tell this engine runs great. Um, so I'll be right back and then I'll start looking at the front end. I'll have to let the engine cool down now after starting it. So I'll be right back after the engine cools down and then I'll show you what I'm hitting the new exhaust. Alright everybody, you see that crack right there? That did that after the valve broke um i do have an e3 spark plug i'm going to throw in this girl uh to see if i can get a couple extra uh, save a little bit more fuel i almost burnt through a full tank of gas yesterday i went through i went in to came here got my wagon and then I went all the way back to my aunt's property to pick up my stuff and a couple other things um, and uh, so this is the exhaust you've seen in the the video I posted and I'll show you the weights I'm doing because this thing's got like the front end's not heavy at all so I went and got this Briggs that's what I'm going to use for weights in the front to keep the nose down so it's not going to pop a wheelie. Um, Barry's done for. I, I don't have the money to get a new Barry. Um, I'm just going to leave it where it's sitting at. If I have the charger or jump starter every once in a while, I'll do it. This thing sat for the 19th. On the 19th of last month, uh, this thing set for a good, yeah, about three weeks almost. So that's not really too bad. 
Already got a new drive belt coming on the way for the rear. And I do have another steering shaft for my rider. I gotta get another column. Um, but I, I had to spend the last bit of money I had just to get this, the belt. I was not expecting the belt, that second belt. I knew it was not gonna hold. And, uh,. I am glad everything went all right. So, um, I'll show you whenever I get uh, this is all stuff, and then I'm gonna show you how I um, attached my uh, my cigarette port on my thing because I can run in like a 12 volt source system off of it. This rider's never gonna tow with anything. So, um, yeah, the piston was damaged, but I'm hoping um, if she can hold another three more years or two more years, or I don't care how long she holds, I'm just hoping she does. Um, because this is my Betsy, it gets my fuel. I run in town and get fuel for my fish mower and for this. I got another rider, I just have not got a chance. My two rear tires are done for, they don't, the bead's about gone. So I'm gonna look at this problem in the front with this new Zostin and I'll show you what it was contacting. Well, actually, I can grab this all stuff right now. I remember great this right here was hitting on that piece I was showing you earlier in the first video or the first part of this thing um, and there's no way I could probably do it without taking an angle grinder and cutting it off or taking a file and filing that whole back end off because I don't want to do that because this is welded like that so and this is for a craftsman assault so, um, I will be right back after I see what I got to do with the exhaust. I hope you guys enjoy this video and like this video. Um, there will be a part two of this video. Um, so, you get done watching part one, watch part two.